Hi there, Rory from Data Spinners here, and today I'm going to talk to you about the property called Display Mode. Uh, I'm going to move off to a kind of app I prepared earlier. Um, uh, display Mode is it's a slightly funny term for, for what it actually is. Um, but it really means uh, about whether or not the object that you're looking at is active at that time. So if we look on this at the moment, you can see that the the the, the, the hand icon can actually click on this. Um, and whereas if I uh, if I go onto this and I go on to the display mode like that, you can see that it's in in display mode dot edit. Um, and I can change that. If I was to change that to display mode dot view, what that means, click on view, it's capital V. Uh, what that means, if you actually look at this in the, the play mode, you can't click on it, it doesn't do anything anymore. Now, um, I've only just sort of demonstrated that for for the purposes of just showing you that it doesn't work anymore. But, but in the context of something like this, I'm going to go back to edit. Um, uh, edit. Um, if I go back onto this uh, and make it into edit mode and I go create new item, um, the sort of time that I would actually use this sort of thing, uh, I may even have done this, um, is is for something like um, when you hit submit expense. Now, um, on this one here, it does a, a great big sort of patch function, um, but the, the perhaps slightly more interesting bit of it is, is you know, will it just will it just let me submit rubbish or, or what so I'll have a look on the display mode uh, it may do actually because it's one that see it's on edit which is terrible actually so what that means is I can just just submit any old nonsense and it'll just let it all through um, but I might say that um, I might go on to this um, and I may go on to I may sort of say well look I never do expenses more than five thousand pounds or something like that there's loads of ways of doing this um, uh, and if I ever click on this item here this is called IMP gross uh, and I can go on to this uh, submit expense thing here and if I go display mode uh, there are different ways of doing this by the way so if um, oh crikey what was it called um, if it's IMP gross I think it's called if um, oops IMP gross dot text um, it's, it'll go wrong by the way it's greater than 5000 then uh, display I'm just going to copy and paste it display mode uh, so if it is greater than 5000 we'll do a view uh, and if it's not greater than 5000 then we will go um, will will just make it so that you can edit it now the reason why it's not happy with this is because um, it's actually a text that it's spitting out so if I do wrap that in a value function value uh, and then pop that around there then it should be happy with this and what that means is if you have a look on this here we can you can see that we can submit it at this point but if I change this to let's say 6000 um, and you go to try and submit it you can't do it now and and really that's that's what display mode is is all about it's about whether or not that object that you are um that you're on at that time is active or not so um it's it's really important actually it's quite um quite useful um in order to stop your users submitting things that you don't necessarily want them to submit you know so i could have done i could have i could have wrapped that function in, in something much more complex where I said well you know you've got to put a date in you've got to put a description and etc etc so um, but uh, you've yeah, just kept it simple for you on this occasion so there we have it uh, I'll just jump back onto the formula display mode if value uh, and I've just wrapped it in the value and um, it's a slightly sort of funny the way it works it out here it says view or edit and then if you actually click on it it says display mode dot view display mode dot edit it does actually need that um, so I'm not sure if it's going to fail if I just kind of delete that and put view I think it'll just put it back in again so if you kind of come off it go somewhere else click on it again I think it puts it back in maybe not maybe not but it's um, 
it's 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 just a kind of a slightly peculiar aspect to this but you know I wouldn't let it uh, concern you too much so there we go um, hopefully that is useful in creating validations in your power apps thanks everyone bye